a massive Confederate army has marched on a coastal Union fortress. They stare at the ramparts, realizing the Union soldiers are strong in numbers. The Union lines glare back, realizing the Confederates have brought their elite infantry today. Can the fortress hold out against the Confederate numbers? Or will the Union lose? Hey, what's going on guys? It's your boy, Daily Tactics here, and today we're gonna be back with some more Men of War Assault Squad to the Born in the Fire America mod. Uh, and today we're gonna be doing the Confederacy versus the Union. Scout is in the background making a nest in his bed. That's what that weird noise is. <laughs> um, bruh, one sec. All right, I waited for Scout to get comfy. That's always important. Uh, either way, what we have here is the Confederacy marching on a Union fortress here. The Union soldiers have a lot of troopers within the fortress as well as on the ramparts of the fortress and in trenches below. So the Union army is pretty strong here and the Confederacy doing a rare uh, assault for them because primarily they fought a defensive war save for Gettysburg, um, but they are going to be assaulting with elite units so these guys all have 200 health as opposed to 100 health uh, and I really did that just because this fortress is so hard to take uh, and they needed a little bit of a boost just a small one uh, but they also have some mortars and Armstrong guns uh, scattered throughout here that they've pulled up uh, the Union only has two little uh, cannons right here in the front but they do have a number of sharpshooters uh, as well as just a heck of a lot of infantry defending, so it should be a pretty cool battle. Either way, guys, without further ado, we'll get this thing going. If you enjoy this video, please be sure to smash that like button. Let's try and get 800 likes in the first 24 hours. Uh, comment down below if you'd like to see some more, and uh, be sure to hit that sub button, too. We're working our way towards 400k, baby. Either way, guys, let's get into this thing. Bunny. Okay, time to get going here, boys. Let's go ahead and go in slow-mo for the start, and we are pressing start, and I think there's going to be a bit of a slaughter in the Confederate lines right up front here. They are getting hit by a lot of incoming Union lead, baby. Look at that, but their output fire is also extremely strong. There's a massive shot from the Union guns right there throwing a ton of confederates all around it is indeed a bit of a slaughter here in the front lines of the confederacy uh the sidelines for the confederacy seem to be doing a little bit better not seeing too many losses over here through the smoke yeah these guys are actually doing okay how's the uh union doing right off the bat here a uh, couple union soldiers getting hit by some fire and dying couple more over here getting hit by some fire as well and going down oh one of the flagmen went and <laughs> ended up dying right there oh there's his body He's holding his stomach. Oh, God. Oh, the humanity. It's awful. All right. Oh, over here on the left side, the Union did not do too well. They did not fare well at all. Confederacy over here getting a number of kills on the Union soldiers, but losing some troopers themselves there. All right. We're going to go into normal speed here because slow-mo uh, with this uh, mod is quite painful because it takes forever for these guys to reload and uh, we don't really want that we want to be able to see the action take place baby all right so even though these guys have double health they are dying rather quickly i'm seeing a few confederate mortar shells hitting the union lines and in fact one of them managed to blow up one of the union guns right there so that's actually a big little mini victory for the uh confederacy right there union gun firing out at this grouping again but it seems like it fell short a little bit might not have been too effective right there yikes you hate to see it the rest of these troopers here really piled up they need to spread out a whole lot more but they're going for almost a line battle type thing that they're doing right there another one of the union guns is gone and now the union is gunless in terms of big old chunky cannons uh but they've still got plenty of troopers on the walls here uh the guys in green are actually the sharpshooters and then there's actually a number of snipers as well which are these guys with the scopes on top of their rifles uh so actually we have a sharpshooter and a uh, sniper right there 
connected together on the wall right there, which is pretty cool. Yeah, there's quite a number of sharpshooters on the walls here because they're kind of fun to see uh, in action. And of course, this would definitely be the place to use a sharpshooter. This is definitely the battle you want to be uh, utilizing those sharpshooters in. Uh, either way, in the back lines of the Confederacy here, we have a lot of outgoing fire still. They are not letting up in the slightest mortar. Uh, looks like it's readjusting to take a shot. Sometimes this can take quite a while. It could also be reloading still as well. For some reason, uh, these things will uh, <laughs> mark their shots while they reload. They multitask, baby. They multitask. There we go. It does take its shot right there, and it looks like it landed right about here, killing a couple of troopers right there for the Union. The Confederacy is edging closer and closer to the fortress here as they manage to take out a number of the trench defenses but they are uh, still taking losses as they push on forward here. Actually, a number of Confederates tried to move really quickly across this area over here. Uh, the Union getting a number of kills on them, but this trench has been wiped out too. Uh, there's a couple of soldiers still alive over this way, firing into the flank. And of course, the walls um, taking some serious losses for the Union soldiers as well. And it seems like actually the mortars are breaking apart the ramparts here, which is a real tough situation for the Union soldiers to be in. That is no good. <laughs> that's actually probably killing more troopers than the actual ground uh, Confederates here. That, that's no, no bueno, no bueno at all. Uh, so that it looks like the outside defenses for the Union will end up falling uh, at least relatively soon um, if, if they don't actually manage to get a grip here. And I, I don't think they will get a grip here. I think the Confederates are laying on them with too many troopers and uh, too much health to actually do this. I did run this exact battle with the Confederates having only 100 health and the Confederate soldiers lost in like the first three minutes. They got slaughtered. Uh, which is just absolutely crazy. Obviously, that's not very fun to watch it uh, for a video. Well, some of you guys might have fun doing that. Um, but truth be told, you know, it, it, I think it's a little bit more fun when you have to uh, struggle to take the fortress and, um, you know, and defend the fortress and, and just like when it's not too one-sided. Sometimes when things are one-sided, it is fun. I will give you that. Uh, and I do make battles like that sometimes. But for this one, I, I wanted it to be a little bit longer. The way we have one Union soldier right there. He might be the last trench soldier, actually. He is, I think, the last trench soldier alive. This guy's actually dead. He's just glitched. Um, wow, okay, the last uh, Union trench soldier is alive over here. He is taking a lot of incoming fire. Yet to go down, though. He's just calmly reloading his rifle. He's like, doo -doo 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 -doo, dude, I'm just chilling. Oh, and then he gets shot in the head. Wow, kind of dark. Little, little, just a touch dark right there. Sharpshooter up here. Let's see what he can do. I think he's got a round loaded. Come on, bloke. Oh, there's a couple more troopers around here, too, laying in the body. Sad. That would be definitely pretty tragic. Uh, and then, of course, we do have the interior defense here, which uh, a couple of troopers starting to get killed now from the interior defense as the Confederates come on towards the... Um, the Union lines here, but the, the Union soldiers, they have a solid number of troopers in here. Of course, choke points. We all love choke points here on this channel, right, guys? Choke point gang! Uh, <laughs> you know, they're less effective in these battles because uh, rifles, they don't have that same sort of machine gun suppressive fire, uh, you know, and, and they tend to falter a little bit more. Maybe if they had a Gatling gun, but uh, it's uh, just not, not in the cards here today. So the... Uh, Troopers inside the fortress here, they really have to make sure that not all of them fire their rounds at once. They need to do some cycling fire uh, and make sure that someone's always got a bullet loaded if they want to hold this. Oh, the Confederates are climbing. Oh, they can climb up this side of the wall. Oh, that's so bad. That makes this even harder for the Union soldiers here. Wow, that makes it insanely difficult. Yikes. Oh, they're climbing up this way too. Oh, that makes this so much harder for the Union. I didn't realize the Confederates could do that. I didn't realize they could do that. That makes this incredibly hard because if they were just coming through the center, uh, it might be possible. But with these troopers coming up on the ramparts and having the high ground, well, we all know what happened to Anakin. And a mortar takes out an entire blockade of Union soldiers right there. So those, uh, their mortars can still manage to get some kills too. Oh, yikes, this just got a whole lot harder for the Union blokes. Come on! Come on, Yankees! We got this! Come on, boys, come on! Let's get this bread! 
All right, getting a few more kills right here as the uh, Confederates continue to come on in through the center now. And look at that. They are getting a number of troopers in here. Yes, this officer with the pistol getting a double kill. Nice, nice, nice. Keep it up. Keep it up. Oh, God. They're just filing troopers in here now. Oh, the officer goes down. Oh, the Confederacy is full on coming on in here, dude. This is certainly not very good. Come on. Come on, boys. They're taking over our defensive positions here. We need to hold fast. Nations are at war right now, people. My goodness. Uh, protect the ponies. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. We, we look away from that. That's too sad. Okay. We protect the remaining ponies. Come on, boys. Do your country proud. Stamp out this dang rebellion. Come on. Let's get him. Okay, there's a number of officers over here, which could be pretty helpful. Yeah, these guys holding in the side. This is a sniper. He's in, like, the worst position for a sniper to be in. But, hey, we'll take whatever troopers we can get at this point. Look at this. Oh, my God. They're filing in here, and we are taking them out bit by bit. Let's go for America. Yes, 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 kings. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. You'll love to see it. All right, Confederacy going down pretty hardcore style right now. Beautiful, beautiful. Come on. These blokes aren't getting out of the Constitution that easy. Nice, nice. Oh, my God. They're trying to get to this top rampart bit, and uh, they're, they're just funneling themselves through that. The guys on the left seem to be a little bit more intelligent. Whoever's leading these troopers knows what they're doing. Whoever's leading these troopers doesn't really. Uh, Union's right side is completely done now. They're all dead. Uh, so now it's up to just a few troopers on... The, the left over here as well as these troopers behind this barn area here to actually manage to secure the victoire Come on lads Let's see it Hold hold strong hold steady <laughs> They're just sort of letting them pass a little bit here now. I think oh pistol trooper managing to get a few kills nice job Oh This guy could end up getting a kill here if he reloads in time perhaps mayhaps Ooh, that guy's just gunning him down with his pistol. What a chad. Pistol troopers very, very valuable in this. Oh, they're trying to get this Union soldier to uh, surrender here. He's just continuing to load his rifle. <laughs> he don't care. He don't care at all. He even, fi in fact, fires it. He misses, though, and then gets punched in the gut and dies. Okay. Oh, no. No, the pistol king goes down. Last two Union soldiers remaining here. Oh. Takes out one. Beautiful. Ooh! They're still getting some kills. Ooh, that guy kicks him in the nuts, and the other guy shoots him in the back. Well, the uh, Rebels did manage to uh, win here. They won this day. Red are dead Rebels. Uh, yellow are dead Union soldiers. Rebels lost a horrific number of troopers taking this. The Union did lose a few less troopers than the Rebels, I would gander. Um, but uh, still... A loss for the Union. Why don't we run it back with the uh, the Rebels having just their normal amount of health? Let's see how that goes. All right, running it back just for fun. Why not? You know, we could do it again here. Just a little bit. And immediately, yeah, the Rebels, I think, are taking more losses uh, right off the bat here than they did in the last battle. Um, yeah, they, they've lost like a quarter of their front troopers here already. Um, so clearly, the <laughs> having the bonus health did help out the rebels quite a bit but uh now that they don't have that they are suffering some immense losses that being said i mean they're still doing fairly decently against the union i mean they're still getting uh some kills on the union soldiers here and things like that oh wow already one of these guns going down the uh the rebel mortars i have to say very effective during this battle usually in uh board in the fire america mod you see the guns not being super duper effective but in this clearly they are pretty effective oh that guy they're getting back on that gun. It doesn't have a wheel, folks. It literally lacks a wheel. What a, What in the Sam heck are you doing there, by? What in darnation, rootin' tootin', rebellion and whatnot. All right, well, we've got sharpshooters popping some Confederates off in the distance. Uh, yeah, they're, they're creeping forward a little bit, but yeah, look at this. I mean, already their center has collapsed almost entirely. Having that bonus health really was just fundamental towards the Confederate victory here. Big time. Ooh, Mortar takes out the second Union gun right there. 
Yikes, but the Union Walls are still very much alive. They're doing great, actually. Side Troopers here also doing okay. Lot. Why are there so many captains over here? This might have been uh, a little bit stacked in terms of captains. They've all got their spy glasses out right there. Even the sidelines are getting kind of rumbled right now for the Confederates. Yeah, it's not just the center that's suffering big time. Uh, although the center is almost completely dead here for the Confederacy. Uh, but yeah, the other troopers here. Oh, this beach got tattered! This beach got its salad tossed! Holy cow, those guys really suffered hard at the hands of the Union soldiers here. Daggummit, Johnny! Why on earth did you give us less health here? I can't do accents at all, bro. <laughs> oh man, Mortar takes out another trooper right here. Look at that magnificent beard. Beautiful. Let's check out some Confederate beards. I, I bet they have better beards. Uh, it's the same beard right there. Um, that man's got their Guy Fury goatee. Clean shaven bloke. A rarity. <laughs> Actually, kind of weak beards on both sides. I do like that one beard that both the Confederate and the Union soldier had, but other than that, the, the beards are kind of weak. Look at this. Look at this man with his five o'clock shadow. Clean shaven. Oh! Hey, that's the, kind of the same five o'clock shadow, I'd say. Yeah, bad beard. Bad beard! Bad beard indeed. Oh, terrible beard. Oh, we're moving away. We're moving away. We can't look at that beard anymore. That was just tr atrocious. Absolutely atrocious. So yeah, the Confederacy is getting absolutely just slapped about right now. Um, all On all fronts. On all fronts. Why don't we go into fast speed here for a little bit here. And just let these guys kind of duke it out. Uh, yeah, look at this. It's like a little ASMR there with the pops. It's kind of cool. Well, that's kind of nice. <laughs> that's some good ASMR right there. Very relaxing. Yeah, the Confederacy is just about completely dead here. They've got almost no troopers in the center. The troopers on the sides all dying out. They literally have no troopers over here. The only thing they really have left right now are the mortars. So clearly the extra health is is what won the Confederacy the battle. Um, and even then it was pretty close. I mean, they, the Union definitely lost. It certainly wasn't, you know, a Pyrrhic victory for the Rebels. But still, um, you know, it was a, a little bit, um, I would say, closer, you know. Um, it, was a, it was a decent victory. Um... But yeah, I guess that's going to be about it for today's video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the little bonus content here with uh, just a little extra something-something for you. You know, a little extra uh, game for you here, boys. But thank you guys so much for watching. I really do hope you enjoyed it. Be sure to hit that like button if you did. Subscribe if you haven't already. And comment down below if you'd like to see some more in the future. All right, guys. I'll see you all in the next God, I'm having a struggle bus talking right now. I'll see you all in the next one. Thanks for watching, guys. Peace. I hope you guys enjoyed that video. Be sure to click that subscribe button for more content and hit the notification bell if you'd like to be alerted to whenever I live stream or upload. Thanks so much.